Now let's put the pieces of the puzzle together. Imagine that the inflation rate rises by a certain amount. According to the monetary policy rule, also known as Taylor's rule, the Fed would then respond by raising the interest rate. This would cause the aggregate expenditure line to shift downward, resulting in a decline in real GDP. Similarly, when the inflation rate falls, the eventual result is a rise in real GDP. Thus, the relationship between inflation rate and real GDP can be represented as a downward sloping curve. This is called the ADI curve, or Aggregate Demand Inflation Curve. Note that it slopes downward, just like an ordinary demand curve. Let's now add another element to this picture, the Price Adjustment Line, or PA line. The PA line is horizontal, because the same behavior occurs no matter what the level of real GDP. The PA line tells us what the level of inflation is. Thus, looking at the intersection of the PA line and the ADI curve tells us the level of real GDP at any given time. Why does